Check this out. Microsoft is finally going to remove control panel from Windows. Look at this guy. This guy is almost 40 years old and finally it's happening. You know, it's, it's, it's a good thing actually. So we have two settings in Windows. It all started from Windows 8, I think. Yeah, it started from Windows 8 when we had the two different settings in Windows. So we have this control panel. Actually, it is called settings. Everybody knows about this. And then we have this. Also, everybody knows about this. So basically, we have two settings in Windows to do basically the same thing, which is actually not good for user experience plus some system resources. You know, there is this tweet and post from back in 2015 when I think Windows 10 came out. Someone posted this tweet at that time. Having two separate implementations means more code complexity and disk slash memory usage. We can all agree with that. So finally, Microsoft has decided to remove the control panel. It is confirmed. If you go to this official website of Microsoft, this is the article about system configuration tools in Windows. If you go here and select the control panel. Here you can see the control panel is a feature that's been part of Windows for a long time, blah, blah, blah. And then if you read this line here, many of the settings in control panel are in the process of being migrated to settings app, which offers more modern and streamlined experience. So basically what Microsoft is trying to say here is that, yeah, we are going to get rid of the control panel. You can also read this why control panel still exists because of some compatibility reasons and provide some settings that aren't yet available in the Windows settings app. So now it is actually confirmed that Microsoft is actually removing the control panel from the Windows. But when and how, we don't know. Okay, it's the Windows 11, the latest uh, Windows and the latest version of Windows 11 is the 23H2, which still has this control panel thingy here. And I have actually already upgraded to the next version of Windows 11, 24H2, which also has this control panel. It is just my opinion. Maybe a Microsoft is cooking something. Maybe Microsoft is secretly working on a next version of Windows. Maybe Windows 12, because, you know, we had some rumors about the Windows 12. Uh, basically, there was one screenshot that got leaked uh, back in 2022. Here we can see it, it looks like a regular Windows 11, but there are many things different here. For example, uh, the, there is the floating taskbar and the notification panel. This thing is also is at the top. It's like you can see the date and time at the top and also battery, Wi-Fi. So it is moved at the top. And there is also this floating search and also the new widget thingy that is also available in current version of Windows 11 uh, is also at the top. What is this? Left side? Yeah, top left side. So yeah, maybe in my opinion, the next version of Windows is on the way. If they want to remove all the legacy things like the control panel and other tools from the system, I think they're gonna have to, you know, refresh the windows with all the new modern things. Okay, just like the settings app and all that. I think there are many things that are still connected uh, to the legacy apps or control panel. Let's say I'm here in File Explorer, which is actually a modern File Explorer now. Okay, it's the modern designed File Explorer in Windows 11. But if you go and right click and try to access properties, I think this is still related to the control panel. Yeah, it's still part of the control panel because first of all, I'm using dark mode and it still doesn't have dark mode, which basically means it's still a control panel thingy or the legacy app thingy. So I don't think like the next version of Windows 11 or even another next one will get rid of the control panel and all the legacy tools. I think Microsoft is going to release the new version of Windows, which will have all the modern settings and everything. And 
the control panel thingy will be removed completely which is again a good thing again as i said it's good for user experience plus system resources and in my opinion if the windows 12 or next version of windows isn't coming anytime soon then you know this control panel thingy isn't going anywhere anytime soon if it is getting removed anytime soon then it has to be the next version of windows it's just in my opinion i think so and maybe there is another thing that can happen maybe microsoft will remove the control panel but some of the legacy tools will still exist that could happen anytime soon yeah that's possible but this will make uh, windows still inconsistent like you know i'm trying to go into the properties this doesn't have a dark mode even though i'm using dark mode again that means it's a legacy uh, tool or something so there will be many parts in the windows which are still using the control panels things or yeah you know what i'm trying to say here you know i bet on the next version of windows which will be fully refreshed windows ever you know like it, it's gonna be completely different that's what i want i think <laughs> okay i don't know uh yeah, I think that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this? Is there going to be next version of Windows or how are they going to remove the control panel? Yeah, we need to discuss about this in the comments. Let's do it. All right. I'll be waiting for your comments. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.